Okay, greetings and peace, everyone. Welcome to Committed Relationships and Spiritual Activity. I am your host, Neo, N-E-O, and here today, I'm here to speak to you, speak with you about the homosexual propaganda that has been going on for many, many years. And this is around the globe, I can see. I thought it was just here in America, <laughs> but it's all around the globe. And I'm going to be speaking about here in America as far as because this is where I was was born and this is where I have done most, well, all of my research my personal research here in America and analyzing a variety of TV shows and, um, and movies regarding this. So let's go with, let's start with the definition. My definition of the homosexual propaganda. The homosexual propaganda is a, a infringement on people's minds to push people into uh, accepting homosexuality both in them within themselves and also within other people, making it appear as something acceptable and normal. And they do it, the societies, the controllers, the influence influencers of the societies. They work day and night to flood various TV shows, movies, magazines, and even the news casters and the, the information, the content, the news content that's in the daily news. They put it in there in various ways. And believe it or not, in there, they have different ways that they influence you. They'll introduce they they introduce it to you slowly gradually in the news situations and then they'll start saying that something such um is a they 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 gradually introduce it to you in in little ways and then they'll start speaking to it to speaking about it more and more and more to the point where people start to accept it because that's the reason why you got to understand how your subconscious mind works. Once something is introduced to it and then consistently introduced into it and then yeah, it's frequent, the more frequent, then the more likely your subconscious mind is going to accept it and then it's going to act upon the information regardless of what it is. This is how if you had this information Already and you fully comprehended what your subconscious mind is and how it functions, you can be able to protect yourself and you can be able to program your subconscious mind to do a variety of things that you want it to do. So they do it a lot with this homosexual propaganda. They put it everywhere. And as a as an unconscious individual that a lot of people are and weak minded they gradually accept the various propagandas that the society influencers have put out for years. And this homosexuality propaganda is one of them. So as you can see, if you really think about it, there's more homosexual activity put in TV shows and movies and magazines now Way more than years ago in the 60s, 70s, and even 80s and 90s. And the seriousness of that is because they're trying to uh, influence homosexuality much more than heterosexuality. Because the heterosexuality, the plus and minus energy... That is the energy that is going to and which is, is the sexual kundalini energy that's going to raise people up to higher consciousness. When you have heterosexual couples actually having sex and doing the natural, not normal, 
I'm talking about natural, naturally born activities of heterosexuals. So what the influencers know that, okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to get the heterosexuals and change all of these things, change their mind, change their DNA, manipulate the DNA from birth. And then we're going to influence them to be homosexuals. Then you get plus plus and then you get negative and negative forces. So you got the plus plus, which is the male and male, which you can't generate <laughs> any kind of higher consciousness, sexual energy from the male male and a male male cannot have a child. So it can't produce and it can't um, raise the Kundalini energy to put people to a higher level psychologically and spiritually as a positive and negative, which is a male and female can do because uniting the male and the female together there's an a energy uniting that happens only with the male and the female that you can't get when you're when you put two people of the same sex in love with each other. And let me go ahead and express this. And I should have did this at, at the beginning of the this recording, but the spirit just came through and told me, like, look, remember, you said you wanted to do this. I want to say that. I am doing my best to be completely unbiased of homosexuals in this topic. So I don't have anything against homosexuals. If that's what they want to do, then go ahead and do it. But me, I'm expressing this information from my studying of what's going on. Because remember, I study relationships study, observe, and investigate relationships, and I have been doing it for years. And homosexuality is one of the things that include relationships here in around the globe. As you can see, there's a lot of homosexuality going on nowadays. So that is something that is important for me to study and to see what's going on for myself and also to teach other people about what's going on so that they can protect themselves also. So keep in mind, I'm not speaking against homosexuality, uh, homosexuals as um, anything negative. I'm just going on based on facts the insights that I have learned in for me analyzing these this propaganda. So um, recently and how they do it in these shows and they especially going after the young people. They are going hard at the young people like this show. Um, I don't know what, it, what the show is called, but it's a new show where they got the young teenager. He's only like 15 years of age and he's gay. Oh, my God. When I saw that, I, I just shook my head like, oh, no, they going after after the young people. So he's he's gay. And then he has. Um, there was an episode that I was watching where he was he was getting drunk because he had a, a party and he had his big brother trying to teach him how to get drunk and to have uh, how to drink beer. I think he was only like 15, 16, 17 years of age. Then he brought his boyfriend to the party. Maybe it was a birthday party or something like that. And the big brother was disappointed. At something because he brought his his younger brother brought his boyfriend along or something like that. I forgot what it was, but overall, it's just them introducing homosexuality to the to the young teenagers. That right there is enough to for them to be successful with their homosexual propaganda. Then let me go ahead and give you another example of. And the reason for me doing this <laughs> is actually watching this move, this Supergirl show. For me, I like to watch the sci-fi sci superhero movies and shows so that I can go ahead and obtain the science and also the superpower information. The science for myself and also getting into the, sup the superhero 
super consciousness type mindset. And I do that by watching these movies and TV shows. That's my main goal. However, I've noticed that the influencers, society influencers, they always got to have the human drama aspect. And I didn't realize that until I started watching The Flash. After watching season two of the new Flash show, I was like, oh my God. So this is what they're doing. They're adding the fucking human drama in there. Then you got the propaganda of the police. The, the police is in there too, making them look like they're the end all be all of the authority over the societies and thinking that society is actually um, being controlled by them. And I tell you, once you get out of your propaganda, as far as the police and the so-called authorities, once you get out of that programming, you'll be surprised that most of the stuff that you see on TV regarding the so-called authorities it's nothing like that. <laughs> Wait, let me make sure this is recording again. Okay, I got to tell you, in the majority of what you see on TV regarding the so-called authorities, a.k.a. the police and the FBI, this is not like that. And you will be surprised that a lot of them are highly scared. They're nervous when they go on to a... Um, when they when they when they go on a call and they get out of their car <laughs> to walk towards the person, I'm telling you, once you increase your intuition, you will be surprised at what you can perceive that people aren't physically showing and telling you verbally, because there is a lot that's going on that people miss because their intuition is not activated to an adequate level. But it's a lot going on. So once they throw in the human drama crap, that, st that keeps people on a low human level. So it's like you got these superheroes that's supposed to be these high powered like gods. But then they throw in in the shows and the movies the human aspect to make you think that to make you think on a low human level with morality and following certain mindsets that really is more like propaganda than actual necessary mindsets. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, like, let me go ahead and go back to the new show. I was talking about this new show, season two, episode six from I think it was from four to six. Those three, four episodes of Supergirl season two. This girl, Alex, Alex, Supergirl's adopted sister, right? Here is the homosexual propaganda. So she, Alex, meets this girl, this woman who's part of a similar organization as far as investigating alien alien activity correct so she meets this woman and they both both come across as aggressive they're the two strong mindsets they come off as with this male energy and that's one other propaganda they they give these women aggressive male eagle type energies making it make um, let me see. Keeping the. Um, what's the word? Keeping the the visions of the natural feminine energy and the feminine. Mannerisms away from the. The public, the women of the, the public of the women, the women public, because if you look at it, Alex and the other girl and there's a lot of females also who walk around in these these male like roles. These are feminine actors, actresses, I mean, who 
are put into these male dominant situations and getting these women to act like men. That's part of the propaganda too. Like if you really look at it, let's see, there's J Lo, she got the new show and she's walking around like a man. She looks like a female, but if you really look at her, she's operating like a man. And you gotta really analyze this because this is not this is inappropriate. <laughs> if you know what feminine energy is and you know the kundalini energy and you know what these inf the influencers are trying to stop. And that's exactly what they're trying to stop, they're trying to stop the feminine energy from rising because that is what has the most power on the planet and probably the universe. It's very, very powerful, especially if a woman knows how to utilize it because ooh, I won't even go to go, <laughs> go there because there's a lot of people that uh, still haven't got out of their ego and know how to control certain things of their minds and their bodies. So I'm not even going to go into about the types of things that you can do with this feminine energy, but it's amazing. So what they want to do is they want to get more women who already have a high level of the feminine aspect within them. They want to get them to act more manly, to have more masculine energy with inside of them and flood them in, with that masculine energy. So it's like if a woman is asking, acting and behaving more masculine then that decreases her feminine energy and then there she's no longer a threat to the influences of society because she has that male energy <laughs> inside of her and she's acting like a male so she's not going to be a threat that's why they put in these propaganda to make the women appear more as male and look at the the woman Alex and her the one that she was pursuing in Supergirl season two, her, Alex, and I think her name was Megan or something like that. Whatever, whatever her name is, the other, the other girl that she was influenced by and brought out her gayness. <laughs> she was influenced by both of them. They look feminine, but if you really analyze their movements and the way that they, they speak, there's still more of a male aspect spect within them. And that's exactly what the society influencers work want. They want them to act. They want women to act like males. If you really, really look at this, a lot of it, some of it is subtle and some of it is, is right there in your, your face in a lot of shows and TV and movies, movies too. So what's crazy is, um, is also how the other lady that she met, which the other lady was openly gay. She was openly homosexual and she said it and she was like, this is the deal and I have a girlfriend, right? So Alex was single and I don't think she, I think she went on one date. Yep, they showed her that she went on one date in season one with that that billionaire dude. Uh, he was a scientist who owned like a corporation that creates uh, not weapons, but well, weapons too, but a variety of other scientific things. So she went on one date with him. But after that, if you really look at all of the episodes, they didn't have her talking about men and going on dates. And she didn't say nothing about men at all, but at the same time had her acting like a male. And that's exactly what they want. They want the women to stay single. <laughs> let me, let me break it down for you. They, the influencers, society influencers, they want the women to stay single, avoid having sex with men. And they want them to, they want women to act more like men, especially certain females of certain races who have that high potential of certain things from happening. And I won't say it so that I can avoid uh, any discrepancies, but there's certain women of certain races. And I'll give you a clue. If you think about if you see a lot of news clips 
news articles and etc where they talk about certain women of certain races are single that's the ones that i'm talking about and y'all just by that right there you might know but there's certain women of certain races they want to keep them separate from men and once you tap into your power and you do get with men as you're a woman and you tap into that feminine energy, you are very, very powerful. You can become very, very powerful, but they don't want that positive and negative energy together, uniting. That's the reason why this homosexual propaganda is going on. And it probably is a ton of other stuff, too. But that is one of the top major things that I have studied and I see is clearly visible to me in these movies and TV shows. It's right there in the face. And there's so much stuff that's right there in people's face, but it's all on your mindset to perceive what's really going on. And I see a lot of stuff that's going on. And that's one of the reasons why I watch these shows so that I can really uh, prepare myself and have the knowledge so that I can protect myself in various ways and also provide the information to those people who are unconscious at the time. But when I give them the information, they can have something to really think about within themselves. Then they can make a decision with that information. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? It feels like this. Pretty, pretty much it. So I, I, I say, um, especially for these young people, I say you adults, you parents, you really, really have to pay attention to what your children watch. And I know you can't do it all of the time, but if it's in your home, you can go ahead and and control what they're watching the best way possible. In fact, I just recommend not even allowing cable TV, satellite TV, or any kind of TV to come through your home at all. But that's just me because I see things on a, on a different level from most people. But for me, if I had children, I wouldn't even let them watch <laughs> watch TV until... They get on a higher, mature, psychological level where they can control their minds. But most young people nowadays, especially, they're undisciplined, they're highly immature, and their parents are the same, if not worse, than the children. So there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. And it's, it's a messy society here in America and around the world. That's exactly how the influencers want this world so that the people of the society can be easier to manipulate. All right. So that's that. And you can check my description for more information. And until next time, thank you very much for listening. Okay.